Battery power leaf blowers, they're all the rage right now. They're the big thing. And I'll tell you, there's some that are great, there's some that are good, and there's some that are eh, not so good. Today, I got, I think, the best one that you can buy in 2023, 2022, 2021. I've never used one that was this powerful and was able to be ran completely off of a battery. So what do we got, my friends? Well, this is the Ego 765 CFM. That's huge, 765 CFM. You're talking gas power with a battery style leaf blower. And this thing is so freaking awesome, so easy to use and extremely light. Anybody watching this video right now can pick this up with ease and use it. And even my 82 year old father-in-law, he loved this thing when he was using it. So we got a couple of different attachments here. You got one that gives you a wider swath. So if you're moving a large amount of leaves, nuts, debris, whatever you got going on over there, you want to use that. But if you need the ultimate power, well, then you put that nozzle on and I'll show you a little bit of both. And again, super easy to do. You just push that down and then it attaches right up on the front of your nozzle. Now you have the legs right here. And if you want to set that down on the ground, you can. Or you can hang this up on the wall. You also put your, your battery right there. It's a 56 volt, any Ego battery. And of course you got the turbo. You always add the turbo. And that turbo, my friends, we'll talk about that here in a bit and I'll show you that in action. That thing is really, really awesome. And to be honest with you, I have trouble using any leaf blower now that it does not have a turbo. But just to give you an idea of this thing, with that nozzle on, this attachment here, you're looking at 200 mile per hour. That's on a battery powered leaf blower, which is insanity. Listen, even with that trigger pulled all the way down, you're saying to yourself, I might have a little bit too much wind going on here. So it's a variable speed trigger, which is nice because sometimes you don't need all that power. I'm telling you, this thing is really, really powerful. And, and here's the other thing, I'm, I'm getting excited. That honeycomb design in the back, you don't get your pant legs sucked up in there. A lot of times what happens with these leaf blowers is they leave these these fans open basically and when you put it up against your pants or your shorts or whatever I'm wearing there, it, they suck you in. And it ain't real nice like. This right here, no issues at all, but look at the power. Now I know a lot of people are gonna say, well these are dry. No, this was in the morning, they were moist. Okay, they were moist. Doesn't matter if these leaves are wet, dry, whatever. These things, it, this thing will pick it up and blow these things away. It, it's a fantastic unit, 200 miles per hour with that attachment. But what's nice about this is if you don't need that straight on, yeah, the leaves are wet, they're stuck to my, stuck to my driveway. Well, you can change that nozzle. Let me show you that. This is the one we're gonna use right there. So again, my father-in-law, 82 years old, was able to handle this, no issues at all. He's in better shape than I am. Who am I kidding? But with that nozzle, you can clean that entire driveway up, no issues at all. And he really does have a large driveway. So if you have a large driveway, this thing cleans it off. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. And with the weight of this thing, again, only 13 and a half pounds assembled. I mean, you just can't beat that. All right, so let's talk about the specs. So on low, you're gonna get 260 CFM. And then on high, you're gonna get 580 CFM. If you use the turbo, that's when the 760 freaking CFM are kicking in, and I, I love that attachment right there. So here's what's insane about this blower, and this is where it pretty much lays down on everybody else. So if you're running this thing on low, it's 150 minutes using a 5.0 bat rate. If you're using this on like a high medium, you're looking at 90 minutes. On turbo though, you're looking at 15 minutes. This is like the top of the top of the top, right? 15 minutes on turbo, which is still actually pretty good considering a lot of leaf blowers only give you 15 minutes on a full Bat ray charge, and they don't even have a turbo. Now we're looking at the leaves, but what about the heavier stuff? Uh, I wanted to try this on some dead pine needles, and here we go. Now anybody that has these type of spruce or evergreen trees, you know, the pineage, well, you know what a nightmare this is, but look, this stuff is stuck to the ground, laying on top of each other, it's, it's, it's dead, right? And I know it's fertilizing itself, whatever, but I wanna get this stuff out of here. You don't want this stuff to build up. You gotta get it out, this thing, it's just a monster. I mean, it's just pushing this stuff. I, I'm telling you, that, that attachment, that nozzle, I love that thing. But look how thick that stuff is, how nasty that stuff is. And I'll tell you what, it's just playing with it. It's just toying with it. It's like, yeah, I ain't got no issues with you. I'm just going to take you out. I'm going to blow you into the neighbor's yard. You know what I'm saying? So not only is this able to do the really large areas, what's nice about this, you got so much power. I mean, I had this on turbo the entire time. Turbo the entire time. I needed this stuff. But look how thick that stuff is. But... You know, when you're doing your driveway, you know, I didn't need the full power. Even when the wind was blowing, you get those cheap, you know, just 
underpowered leaf blowers, a lot of times that wind will blow those leaves right back at you and back all over where you were cleaning up to begin with. But I'll tell you, I didn't have any issues with this. I was able to put whatever I wanted wherever I wanted it. It had more than enough power. I didn't have to worry about those leaves coming back and hit me in my face. Now you also get a five-year tool warranty, three-year battery warranty, so it let you sleep a little bit better at night. And listen, I've had Ego for the last seven years and I've never had an issue with any of the batteries going bad. I leave mine out in the garage all winter long all summer long and they're still all going perfectly fine i i just love this product I, th I think they did an amazing job with it but you know what try it yourself if you want to i'll leave a link in the description below I'll let you check it out i really want to know what you think i know there's people out there to have this let me know what you think about this blower in that sweet sweet comment section below but if you want to see what ego's coming out with in the 2024 year i think that'll blow your mind check out this video right here i think you're gonna love that smash that like button get subscribed hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any more videos and we'll be back with more videos soon